This is the Jed Cal kicking challenge. Here we go. One, two. Ah, I see it. Is that okay? Yeah. rough day today. I came back from Las Vegas and just yesterday on my drive back from Vegas to LA, twice my car wasn't starting. I think the battery died. So I had to jump start it with like our friend's car. My car this morning is still not starting. I'm gonna give it one more try. Oh my goodness. I don't really talk to my neighbors, but I'm gonna just knock on the door and see if I can use their Range Rover or something to connect our cars together. Luckily, I have jumper cables. Okay, happy ending this morning. I rang my neighbor's doorbell and the jump start from that didn't work. So I had to call AAA, which is this roadside assistance. He ended up changing my battery entirely, so everything works now. Nice. I got some Uber Eats, and while I'm eating, I think I'm gonna answer some questions that I asked on my Instagram story last night of a Q&A because it's been, I don't know, something like eight vlogs since my last Q&A. So yeah, let's jump right into it. This is question number one. How do you make your vlog so cinematic looking on the 5D? So I shoot with a Canon 5D Mark IV, which is great for photo and for video. The lenses I use are a 16-35 f4, which is what I'm vlogging with right now, so that gives me the wide angle look. And then when I want to switch to like cinematic lenses, like I had in the intro, I have this 35mm 1.4. I reserve cinematic shots for this 35 1.4, so we get the stark difference between you know wide angle vlogging and slow mo cinematics with a 1.4. Okay, my next question is, are you planning on making your own merch? I think realistically I'll wait till I hit a milestone, something like 100k. And I don't know, if you guys would buy it, leave a comment below and maybe I'll do it sooner. Okay, so I got a couple questions asking about how I got into Boston University, or whether it was my dream school. Back when I was in high school, junior year, senior year of high school, I think I was super naive and ambitious because my safety school at the time was Santa Clara, which is California. And I tried early decision at Stanford. Basically all the schools I applied to were pretty tough to get into, there were at least like 40% acceptance rate. I don't know, I was, I was aiming a little bit too high. I realized that because I heard from Santa Clara first and they waitlisted me. And from there I was just like, geez, that was my safety school. Like, it's not gonna look too good. I ended up getting rejected by every college. I got waitlisted to two of them and I was waiting on Boston University, which is the last college I applied to. And they accepted me and they almost gave me a full ride. I was expecting that if they were going to accept me, every other college rejected me. Like, why would they give me any money? They ended up almost paying for everything which is just totally insane. I don't know how that worked out so well, and I don't know why I only got into one school, but that is what happened. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my lunch break. I'm gonna work for a bit, go to the gym a little bit later, and finish this Q&A. Okay, I'm here in Culver City, and I'm here to answer one more question for you guys. How do you manage your time editing and making videos and also your other stuffs? So I have a couple of things going on. I have my full-time job, I have making YouTube videos on the side, I have my freelance projects, and I have RateMyDorm.com, which is this app that I'm running. And the way I stay on top of these things and manage my time and organize my thoughts is using this app called Notion. And if you don't know what Notion is, they are this all-in-one workspace, and coincidentally, they are the sponsor of today's video. So what I'm going to do for this segment of the video is go into my computer and show you exactly what I do and how I stay organized. Okay, so this is my homepage, my dashboard. What I like about this app is that it's highly customizable. So on the 
the top here, I'm starting it with a to-do list and dividing that further between things to do today and things upcoming. And in the bottom here, I'm dividing into two sections and I'm gonna start off by showing you my personal finances and how I use it to keep in track of my budgeting, my spending, to make sure that my money's just not going down the drain. Okay, so under finances, I have two tags, one that's income and one that's spending. In this table, I'm only putting recurring monthly income and spending that are constant values. So my paycheck is constant, I'm putting zero, so I don't wanna tell you guys how much I make, but things like rent, car payments, my student loans, they're all down here. And I'm using Notion's table to keep track of all these things and have a sum in the bottom. So for example, if I make $1,000 a month, in the bottom, it'll show my net profits and just how much money I have for things like food, gas, and this page alone makes sure that I stay in budget. Okay, coming back to the homepage, I'm gonna show you guys how I use Notion to keep track of RateMyDorm.com. It is a review website for college dorms and I'm the only one working on that site. I'm in charge of the coding, the design, the advertising. The whole site is something that I'm doing myself, which is why Notion has been super helpful for me to organize everything and keep it all in one place. They have an option to create a Kanban board, which is just a way for me to keep track of everything that I need to work on. I can move these little blocks around from next up to in progress to completed, and I can customize it so that I can change the status of it, the priority, the date, and I can add a little bit of a description below and say post on Boston University and when I start working on that, I'll put it into progress and ultimately put it in completed. This helps me a lot because I am the only engineer working on this and I'm not doing Rate My Dorm full time, so I tend to forget things that I need to do next. So when the ideas come, I immediately ticket it, put it onto next up, and the next time I wanna work on Rate My Dorm, I will go onto here and choose a ticket and work on it. Honestly, the number of things you can do on Notion seems infinite. The number of ways you can lay out the page, the different widgets you can add like journaling, habit tracking, that I highly recommend you guys checking out yourself. So go in my description, link in bio, and and thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. All right, I'm at my friend's place. I just finished up work and I'm in downtown LA. They have this gym in their apartment rooftop. So we got our wrist wrapped. I have my Taekwondo kicking shield. Just gonna, gonna teach us some kicks today. We're gonna get some uh, cardio in. It's not easy, just right leg. No, it's not always tough. See, I do the knees. Right. You know the variety. Right. gone to the gym to like lift weights in maybe like two months now. The past few weeks I've been going to the gym but just to like do some punching and kicking. I've been doing like Taekwondo only since I was like five years old and Taekwondo is a martial art where it's all kicks. It's probably like 10% punches in Taekwondo but I never really learned punching combos and that's something I've been trying to do recently. Oh but I'm fucked up your audio. Not good. <laughs> this is a really good mic. <laughs> Who, who's yeah, well, who, who's but punching? This, but this is the no, joke. We're gonna do one one kick. From you're gonna hold it. One uh, turning kick. I might fall off the roof. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll get you this way. Plenty of room to. Uh, to yeah. fall? <laughs> I won't. I won't run or jump or anything. Uh, this way? No, it'll be like a center kick. Oh oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> a good way to hold that would be like putting your arm here. Ah uh, okay. Here and then you just like flex his arm. Yeah. And like just flex his shoulder too. And then I and then I die. And then you uh. <laughs> oh, the socks are up. Oh, shit. It's kind of slippery. Oh, wind that shit up, Jed. Ready? Two. Ah, I see it. Is that okay? Yeah. Woo! That's oh. a strong ass kick. Yeah, mind you, <laughs> no, gate weighs 200. Guy. I'm pretty underreactive, but this shit is numb right now. Yeah. Right, you want to do it to me? <laughs> nah, do it to Jimmy first. Jimmy, how do you sign up for this? Jimmy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gabe. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching today's vlog. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Stay tuned for another video this week. You want to give me a kick, Jimmy? Good no, I'm good. Thank I'm you. Oh, I'm good. Um, I I'm not going to okay. be the guy to follow up after that.